Rabbit Awakening can dash through walls. Here we have a perfectly good wall. If we go like this. What? I just teleported through this wall like it just didn't exist. I found 33 third sea myths and blocks fruits, and I'm going to be testing them all out to see if they're true. Like how there's supposed to be a hidden tunnel below this giant waterfall on Hydra Island. Now, everybody who's tried to get the cursed dual katana knows about this tunnel here, but a little bit to the side, if you go to this side of the waterfall, there should be... Yep, another tunnel in the top left. And this leads to the entire underneath of the island. All I'm saying is if I'm playing hide and seek here, nobody's yeah, finding me. Boy. Number three, on top of the haunted castle, there is supposed to be some diamond chests. So I need to get all the way to the top of there. Best believe I'm not doing this in a slow way. I'm getting the light fruit on and we're just flying. I've never had a need to come to the top of here. So I'm actually really curious. Are there going to be chests up here? Yes, there is. There's one, there's two, and there's three. I would have been so disappointed if there was nothing up here. Apparently, after already getting the cursed dual katana, you can re match the skeleton final boss so if we come into this spooky looking crypt there's no scrolls here and i mean the door's closed so if i teleport through yep there's no skeleton so this one is false if you've ever made it to the third sea you know that there's these teleporters to go from turtle mansion to the castle on the sea but supposedly if you use world warp with portal while going through you'll completely break the game so if i walk through here and go to port everything seems fine let's try one more time for the culture we're gonna go to great tree this time yeah, I'm definitely not broken. I'm fine. One more time, trying to do it super late. Yep, it seems to just let you portal. So that one is also false. There is supposed to be an achievement you can get in the third C. It involves you coming to this graveyard at nighttime and you need to pray to this gravestone. And apparently it's like a 1% chance to get like the items from this. So if I try praying, you finish praying. Is that it? Try again. Nothing happened. Maybe you should come back later. This one seems like it could take a really long time and I might not even be lucky enough to get it. So we'll come back a bit later on in the video. Apparently you can find a pineapple in the port town and I can already see it over there. It's like a tiny pixel. Pineapple in Box fruits. If you eat this, do you get the phoenix fruit? Okay, I'm spamming left click and nothing's happening. Whoa, it actually worked and the pineapple's like bugged on me. This one is true. Okay, so the pineapple one, yeah, it's not actually true, but there are apparently two other fruits you can find in this game that aren't devil fruits. You can find a pineapple, an apple, and a banana. So this one is true. Being subscribed to Koopacool gives mythical fruits. This one's guaranteed. I've tested this one in the past all the time. Whoa, see, look, this one's true. I got the venom fruit. Apparently you can't change fruits while in Race Awakening, which me personally, I'm not believing that for a second. The best way to to test this is one of the toughest bosses. Why is my awakening bar taking so much filling up? I am so close to awakening. This is gonna be the moment of truth. Okay, it's time. Wait, no, it's not. I'm so... Here it is. Awaken. All right, so we gotta use like a, a portal move and then it shouldn't let me change. Well, I've definitely just, like, I'm perfectly changed. This myth is false. So I need to get out of here. <laughs> I'm not dying to this boss. The next myth says it's now possible to find the Mirage Island when it's not a full moon. So I've got to get pretty lucky to even find the Mirage Island. And the moon is half full at the moment. So, like, if we do find it, that'll be amazing. But it kind of makes me wonder, did Mirage Island only spawn when it was a full moon before? Or was it actually possible to, like, find it just on a regular night like this? I'm going to stay in this boat until I find the Mirage Island. And I'm not going to stop. We got a sea beast. That's definitely not an island. Oh my god. It exists! The Mirage Island is real. And I believe it's... Wait, can I see the moon? Yeah, it's not even a full moon. So... The question is, is can you get race awakening now on this island? I can't test this because as you can see, I've already got it. And it's super convenient that we found this island because apparently as well, there is a blocks fruit gacha dealer on this island that gives like boosted chances for good fruits. So I need to make it my goal to find this guy. We're playing Where's Waldo with Minecraft Blindness 3. <laughs> so this is going to be very difficult. Oh, gem chest or oh, fragment chest. I'll happily take as many of those as the game wants to give me because I need fragments. A uh, blue chest, not bad. Where is the dealer? What is this? Oh, it's a tree. Oh. This over here is promising. Oh, this is real promising. I mean, it doesn't help not being able to see a single thing, but maybe we get lucky. I also don't know how long is left until this island is going to despawn. So hopefully I find him fast. Oh, it's becoming daytime. Oh no. Am I just going to be like put on ocean or something if it despawns? Please no. Wait, it's actually becoming way easier to see things. This is kind of a blessing in disguise. While I'm searching for this Mirage Island dealer, we can also talk about the next myth, which is using the portal fruit when the Mirage Island is spawned will show Mirage Island on the list, which it is definitely not doing. So that one 
one is false. Oh, a chest. I have searched what seems to be like every corner of this island and I can't find anything. <laughs> like I just, oh look, wait, maybe this is uncharted territory, finally. I did the strategy you're supposed to do in a maze where you like stick to the right side and you'll never get lost. And I found nothing. I've even checked the entire outskirts of the island and still nothing. You know, I'm convinced this advanced dealer is just a myth. He's fake. Oh wait, but his chest up top? Could he be up top? Nah, there's no way. If he's up here, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh wow, he actually could be. There's another purple chest. Another purple chest up top? Wait, is that him? Oh my god, I think I... He is up top! Advanced fruit dealer. Click to interact. I searched the world for block roots. When I find one, I'll put it in my stock. Buying heal will grant you the power... Okay, yeah, he's just saying like the default stuff. What is he selling? Anything good? We've got kilo, spin, chop, spring. New fruits in 20 minutes. Okay. Flame, dark. Anything good? Rumble. Ooh. You selling the rumble fruit? Don't mind if I do. But that means that myth is true. I'm so glad that I checked up top or I'd be still running around down there. The next myth says that there is some floating grass somewhere in Port Town. Now, this might be an indirect way of somebody telling me to touch grass, but I will still find this grass nevertheless. I am the ultimate grass finder, in fact. What is happening to me? There it is, floating grass. Wait, 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 no way. You can stand on it. This feels all kinds of illegal. In Turtle Island, behind this mushroom over here, there is supposed to be a secret doorway. Like, through here? Oh. Oh yeah, with a chest. What does this do, though? Like, it's Bruh. just kind of here. If you guys actually know, please let me know. Is it maybe a quest? I've not done anything related to that. But what I have done something relating to is that on this island, there is a homeless man somewhere. He's not homeless, right? Isn't he, like, the hungry man? He's in one of these buildings over here. Probably this one all the way at the top. Yep, here he is, the homeless man. Nope, he's hungry. Nope, that, yeah, that's definitely not a homeless man. But this guy does exist. The next myth says that I can return to the third sea islands just by, like, leaving this raid island. I did this in the second seat and it worked so we need to test it out with the the light fruit ideally ow yeah i'm gone i don't want to fight you guys i'm flying all the way back i've been flying for a couple of minutes now and honestly the islands do not seem to be getting any closer kind of like walking on a treadmill but i'm flying with the light fruit instead but we'll keep on going like they do seem a bit closer i guess like i can see the flag on top of the haunted castle now it's bigger than one pixel a few more minutes later we're getting close i switched to the ice fruit because i thought it would be funny but actually it's just draining my stamina like crazy and i might not make it but it feels pretty fast i'm getting so close in fact there's only one minute 50 Wait, there's a ship out here. Is this the one I left for the Mirage Island? Well, that's convenient. I can use this to get back faster. That we've got 1 minute 30, but we've not hit any barriers. But it seems like we can just make it all the way back to the third sea. And if confirmed. Just outside of where the Kilo Admiral is located, there is supposed to be a small gap in the rocks beneath the tree. Oh, I think I've been through here before on accident, but this one is true. This room with all of these books on Cake Island, there is supposed to be one book that isn't real. Now, if I just walk into everyone, we should find it eventually, if that is the case. Okay, every book on that side is real. No fake books so far. I look so incredibly stupid right now, but no books on that side are fake. On this side? No, nope, that book's real. Have I been lied to? That book's real. That book's also real. What is this? None of these are fake. Unless it's one of these last three. Two... And the last one, yeah, that's real. I mean, these chain things are fake, but every single book is real. So that myth is busted. The next myth is to see if whether the electric claw fighting style costs money and fragments every time you want to switch to it. Because somebody told me that it does. Previous hero, talk, learn. Bought electric claw for zero dollars and zero fragments. So that one is not true. The next myth is that in the third C, CB spawn more frequently when you don't have any hacky activated. So we're gonna get in a boat and we're gonna test this theory. First things first, we're gonna test it with hacky on and see how long it takes for a sea beast to spawn. Now this could take tens of minutes. So now we wait. You've got to be joking me. So, I mean, yeah, I guess CB spawn less frequently. We got Mirage Island. <sighs> I got to move over that way now. Attempt number two of getting a sea beast. Jeez, that actually scared me. But there we go. That's a sea beast. That took so long. Please sink my ship. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Wait, I can't move. I can't teleport either. Oh, there we go. The sea beast fixed me. All right. Now we're going to test without Haki on this time. And now without Haki on, let's see how long it takes to find a sea beast. Okay, we got ships. I mean, that's technically like a sea beast and we got it pretty fast. Uh, but then again, we also got the Mirage Island fast. So I'm not sure if Haki actually affects whether you get good spawns or not. Seems like I'm just kind of unlucky. This entire area where you get Cursed Old Katana is hollow inside. So if we come to where this scroll area is and do some little teleport through the wall maneuvers... 
like this. Yep, this one is true. It's completely hollow. It's also incredibly ugly from the outside. Like, <laughs> they should definitely fill this in. Normally, you can only have four people in a raid because there's only four raid pads. But if we use the new love fruit to yoink somebody and then bring them into the raid, what happens? That is the true test. So if I stand on the raid pad and I click loading map, is he gonna be here with me? It says loading map. No way. Oh my God. I've just got somebody on my flamingo with me. There's an actual spectator and I've got a best friend doing things for me as well. This is crazy, but I don't wanna be here. So we're going back. It took me a while to locate, but if we fly up from like this random sort of place in the third sea, it's a bit away from the great tree. We should be able to reach the temple of time without ever having to actually go into the great tree, which honestly is a kind of stupid and pointless thing to do. But let's see if it actually works. We're getting close. This is actually crazy looking at it from the bottom. It kind of looks like a Minecraft stronghold. But with this, I've made it. I can like spy in on the area. Does this mean if it was full of people doing their awakening, you could like sneak in? <laughs> yeah, you actually could. <laughs> this myth is true. There is a myth that says you can't fly using the Angel V4 through the teleporter. And I say that's false. See? Myth busted. Next up, we have got a secret door. Supposedly, this door right here leads to something, but like that window is there. Let's go take some measurements real quick. Yeah, there is no way that door's going anywhere. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Why is there a vampire here? You know, I'll just let him do his own thing. Let's just try teleporting behind this door for science. Oh, well, would you look at that? There's nothing behind there. Myth busted. Supposedly, this water right here is the most dangerous water in the game. It can insta kill you, but like, I've stood in water before and like nothing's happened. Eh? Wow, this water like really is the most dangerous water I've ever seen in the game. This myth is true. Normally in Blocks Roots, it's completely impossible to destroy things like shelves and other things like this. But apparently you can destroy this shelf. Like what? That's true. But I also thought that wasn't supposed to work like all the time. Yeah, look, see, it didn't break that time. But if we go around the corner, I don't know which tree it is, but if we just nuke all of the trees and then head back inside, we should be able to destroy this. Yep, there it is. That myth is true. There's a myth that says you won't be teleported to a previous sea if you use the portal fruit. So if I talk to this experienced captain, and then as soon as I press yes, dimensional rift. I shouldn't be teleported to the second sea. I'm definitely, yep, I'm being teleported. That one is false. I had such high hopes for that one as well, but nope, it just did not work. But now that it's nighttime again and I've returned to the third sea, it's time to try our luck. After doing some research since the last time we attempted this, you can supposedly obtain a hollow essence and a god's chalice from praying. And that gives you the devil's luck title. So here we go. It's time to test my luck. YouTuber luck, pray. You finish praying. Absolutely nothing happened. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna get that in my lifetime, never mind in this video. Apparently for this next myth, there is just a house you can go into. Huh? What? This house is just fake. How have I never noticed this before? I mean, I guess I've never walked into a house. Hold on. Can you stand on the roof or is that fake as well? The roof is real, but the house itself is just not real. That's crazy. That one is true. Next up, we're testing something to do with Rip Indra. And to test this, we obviously needed the chalice, which, you know, you guys are seeing me get it right now, but I've been looking for this thing for four hours. But let's summon Rip Indra. Now then, if we place the chalice in here and we activate it. Oh wait, we need the pink khaki color activated and then he'll spawn in. There we go. A barrier has been broken. And now that Indra spawned, there's this mist that seems to not disappear. The myth says that the mist is completely endless and you can't escape it. So I'm going to try and escape the mist. Here we go. It's time to break some records. I wonder if this is actually true or not. We've been sailing a pretty long time already. I seem to have kidnapped a monkey on the ship as well, who has better hacky than me as well. Okay, insult to injury. But this mist really isn't ending. Yeah, this seems to be endless. We've left the perimeter of the islands as well, and it's not ending. Okay, so this myth about the mist being endless is true. Psych, I went a bit further just to make sure and yeah, this is not ending. We can never escape the mist. We just got to kill Indra instead. 